I want to share with you today a story that happened to me in 2007. It's all about a positive mindset. And I call this story a blessed broken seed. I hope you enjoy it. We waste a lot of time and energy complaining about life and the obstacles that we are challenged to face. But complaints, you know, are like a tape that blocks our vision. The only people that enjoy listening to complaints are negative people. And they like it because that's what they do too, right? So these people love to meet other negative people and they usually have great arguments trying to convince their life is more miserable than the other. <laughs> you should not listen to your own complaints. When you realize you are complaining something, stop and do something to break that moment, you know, to change that energy. Complaints won't bring you anything positive. So a few years ago, I was going to, to an aviation event in Paris, and I was very excited because Paris is my favorite city in the world. I love everything about it. The food, the wine, the lifestyle, the cheese, the language. The French language is the most beautiful language to me. I think it's so romantic and it sounds beautiful. Anyway, for all those reasons, I was very excited. And because I was invited to attend to a very special private event at the Musée de l'Air in Paris, I checked in at the DFW airport in Dallas and I was dreaming about everything that I was gonna experience for the next seven days. So I boarded and went to find my seat. I had a window seat. And there was a guy already seated in the seat next to mine. So I excused myself and asked him to let me in. I was shocked to see that he stood up without looking at me and he didn't say a word. I thanked him and passed quickly to take my seat. He didn't say anything back to me. I settled down thinking, you know, it would be a long flight, especially having somebody so unfriendly seated next to me <laughs> in such a long flight. So I figured he didn't want to, you know, be bored. So I decided to stay really quiet and not try to talk to him during that long flight. Usually, I like to talk to the person that's seated next to me. Because, you know, I always believe that we human beings, we have a lot of experience and great stories to share. So I always enjoy, you know, the conversation. I don't remember a flight where I was disappointed. <laughs> Anyway, this was a different experience and that's okay, that's life, right? So then the, the plane took off and about one hour passed on without one word being exchanged between myself and the passenger next to me. He was American and he was in his early 40s. Then he decided to recline his seat so he could rest. I pretended I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing. But then his seat didn't recline. He tried again and nothing happened. He tried again and again and I was noticing everything but I stayed quiet in my place. He was getting really mad after trying several times. Then I decided to help. And so far, we have not said hi or hello to each other. <laughs> but I looked at him and I asked, is your seat broken? And he looked at me for the first time and said, yes. Can you imagine a flight like this, a flight this long, without being able to recline my chair? And I looked at him and said, sure, that's too bad. Why don't you try again? Then he said in a very bad mood, didn't you see that I tried a hundred times and it didn't work? My chair is broken <laughs> and that's too bad. Then I looked at him, you know, with a friendly and very calm and I asked him to try only once more. And he looked at me and I could see in his eyes that he was thinking I was crazy because he had just told me that he tried several times and it didn't work. He was so mad and rude that he almost, he was almost breaking the seat every time he tried. So I asked him to try again, just once more. <laughs> and guess what? He did try and miraculously, the seat worked at this time. He was so surprised and shocked that he jumped toward my seat, you know, like this. And <laughs> he looked at me. For the first time, he looked at my eyes and he said, are you a witch? What did you do? Please tell me. What you did to make my seat work. 
because I'm sure it was broken. But to tell you the truth, I was as surprised as him. I told him that all I did was to think positive. I imagined and I visualized the seat moving back as it was supposed to do. So after that, he became a different person and spent almost the whole flight talking to me. <laughs> he wanted to learn more about visualization and positive thinking. <laughs> he talked for several hours and he was actually fun to talk to, believe it or not. I really hope he learned something that day. We end up, you know, becoming friends thanks to the broken seat situation. And after talking to him for several hours during the flight, I learned about, you know, his life and some of the obstacles that he was facing. And one of them was that he had just been, you know, laid off from his job and he was desperate to find another one. So his first son was born just a month before. So also, after learning more and more about his life, I figured he had exactly the skills that a headhunter friend of mine was looking for one of his customers. So making a long story short, I recommended him for that job position. And can you believe that he got it? And this all happens thanks to the broken seat at the airplane. So my message here for you is that the next time that something like this happens to you, instead of spending time complaining, be excited and ask yourself, what's the opportunity that this obstacle is bringing to me right now? You know, we need to stop. We need to break the bad mood or the negative thinking and really dig and ask ourselves, where is the opportunity? What's this obstacle bringing to me? There is something there. We need to learn something from there. Once you do that, I promise you, opportunities will open. You just need to keep your mind positive and open to see things that you won't see if you are focused on the obstacles. So I hope this story inspires you as much as it did to me. Still today, when I think about this, I get inspired. And it happens all the time in our lives. So let's pay attention and let's be open to them. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do that now. And I hope to see you back soon. Bye-bye. Cheers.